So just a couple of days ago, DevTools Author was released, and I have to say it's an awesome, awesome extension for Chrome. Now I've seen extensions that add a dark color scheme to your dev tools before however this one really takes the cake allowing for like 25 different themes along with font size changes it's awesome so let's check out dev tools author i'm going to show you how to get up and running with it you can see that you can have something like monokai or any of these sort of standard color schemes i was a little bummed out there was no material dark but maybe that's to come so we have getting set up First, you need to install DevTools Author from Chrome, so go ahead and click this link. I'm going to include this web page, or you can just type in DevTools Author in your search bar, or you can just click on this link from the description. As you can see, you can come to this page and add it to your Chrome. Now, after DevTools Author has been installed, you have this Google experiment. Now, this is pretty cool. They actually include the full link to get to your flags along with an anchor to the actual flag you want to check. Just copy and paste this whole link where it says Chrome colon for double forward slash and it'll leave it highlight the flag that you need to check. So we have enable dev developer tools experiments. We're going to want to go ahead and click enable. OK, so now that that's been enabled, we have to relaunch Chrome to take advantage of these developer tools. OK, so Chrome has been relaunched. We now have our flag checked for developer tools experiments and now we just need to come to inspect by right clicking or you can do the uh, keyboard command way command option i and let's head to this three little dots here and then settings now from here we need to come to experiments and we want to check allow custom ui themes now there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here since we now have experiments checked on, you could check out yourself. I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to close. Now, if we come and inspect, you'll notice that there's a brief change, but we get this new color scheme right here. As you can see, this is sort of the default one, which is 3024. If we want to use something dark like Monokai, we can always click this double arrow and come into author settings. Now, from author settings, you'll have a host of like 25 different color schemes here. You can see we can use the classic Monokai, which is something that I really like actually. And you can even change the font size to be whatever you'd like. Now it says that uh, DevTools needs to be reloaded to see your changes. So let's just close out of that and click inspect. Now that inspect, you'll see it take a second and then it's going to go ahead and give you your new color scheme. Now for somebody who personally uses mostly dark color schemes, uh, this is just a really nice feature, and it's going to more mirror image what you're looking at when you're actually looking at your code. Now, I hope that Material Dark and Material Theme gets added in general, however, and I even may contribute that myself if I have an opportunity. But as you can see, this package is awesome. Um, if, if you're the type of person who likes tweaking color schemes and looking at stuff like that, uh, I just personally really, really like this package. It's brand new. It's super cool, and I'm sure it's going to be improving a lot over time. So check it out, Dev Tools Author. It's a great new Chrome extension just to sort of give you that extra tweak in your developer tools to make them even cooler. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, if you comment on the video, hit me up at Twitter or Facebook. I love Up Tutorials. I love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.